Hey, this is the uh, end of the third day of breaking the fast. So yesterday was the second day and I, I ended up eating um, some avocado, which was uh, quite good. I uh, I had been drinking you know a lot of juice and I had been eating some peaches and some nectarines and oranges and then I didn't have any craving for anything sweet um, I started to crave something more salty and I knew that the avocado would do the trick because it has a salty taste to it and um, so I, I ate about that much a sliver you know like this and uh, thick and uh, and that was all I could eat of the avocado it was so rich but it was so good and then and then I I, I, uh, I had some tomato slices and uh, and those were great loved them um, so uh, today I woke up and I actually uh, introduced some grains which were which I made some very watery malto meal and I just had a small bowl of uh, some malto meal just plain malto meal uh, a little bit of pepper and uh, seemed to turn out pretty good and uh, and then um, I had some more fruit today I had another nectarine and uh, I also uh, last night I also had some yogurt um, which is very soft and it's very easily digestible and uh, gave me a little bit of stomach acid last night but not a much and then it went away and then today I had more yogurt and and that seemed to sit with me much better today and um, and then uh, toward and then tonight for dinner my wife made this delicious uh, chicken soup chicken noodle soup and so uh, uh, I have to be honest with you, I didn't eat a lot of the chicken, but I did eat, you know, a small, some small pieces and chewed them really well, and, and that was just delicious, you know, the warm broth and the, and the, uh, the noodles, you know, so, so I'm beginning to introduce, you know, some grains, some, some flour in the noodles, um, my body is beginning to feel like, it can handle it a little bit more so uh, tomorrow will be the beginning of the fourth day and uh, you know I'm so I still gotta take it easy but uh, I, I feel uh, I feel like I feel pretty good you know and I've been thinking a lot about the situation you know the reason I went into the fast and and uh, what I learned this time about about myself and about life and you know it's just basically it's it's like the same message over and over again that I I keep hearing and every time I'm watching TV it's like every single program it's always about the same thing and it's about human conflict and it's about how we deal with that conflict and and um, and so how how am I dealing with the conflict in my life and how am I approaching it you know you know and 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 so I really do want to you know let go of a lot of things in life and we do struggle with that our entire life just to let go of so many little things and and uh, 
to strive, you know, for the greatest, which is love. So, I do hope that for all of you, and I know that we are, we all are really good people, you know. I know that, you know, just in the passing of uh, the Boring Dispatcher, you know, every, there were so many people that came forward to say what a great guy he was. And others that would say, yeah, well, he was still a jerk, but, you know, he was cool. And, well, you know, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, if you could think, like, I was watching one of Chris Crocker's videos today, and I was thinking, you know, if Chris Crocker died today, you know, I'm sure there would be plenty of people that come for that came forward to say, you know, what a great person he was. Um, you know, aside from the fact that uh, he seems to cause a lot of controversy um, for obvious reasons. But my point being, you know, that we all struggle with our own issues, you know, and and we do want to be good. Um, that is our, our goal, you know. We want we want to to give as much as we can, and we want to help as much as we can, and and heal this world. And so that is my prayer, you know. Um, the prayer of Saint Francis, you know, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. So. Uh, God bless you all. I will see you tomorrow. And uh, have a good night.